Hello. Hi, everyone. My name is Evan. So I'm here today to share with you on how to grow your career amidst this COVID-19 or this recession itself. Okay, so are you all ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, so this is the overview that I'm actually uh, doing today. First, we will actually examine the changes being brought in COVID-19. We'll do have, uh, industry evaluation and of course, uh, we'll look at these positive actions and steps that taken. And in this role, is, um, in this whole presentation itself, I hope to provide you all with as much value and as much information that you know you all can take away and you know start taking actions with. Okay, but before I start, I would actually like to address the elephant in the room. Okay, is career progression possible during this recession? Okay. And the good news is, is a big yes. Okay, we, we have actually seen a lot of uh, clients that are, that are actually hiring leadership roles. We have actually seen uh, clients that are asking for people to replace their uh, managers' levels and things like that. Okay, so if you really keep a lookout and things like that, it's really possible. But that's, of course, things that you need to do, you need to step up and, and things that you can do to prove yourself. First, let's examine uh, what changes was actually being brought up with COVID-19. Okay, we are actually seeing a lot of retrenchment and furlough that is happening. Things in uh, purchase pattern, people are actually more self-conscious of you know, the things they buy. They will be buying more essential as well as more economical stuff. Luxury maybe as the second choice. Okay, we have seen a lot of uh, change in working pattern. You know, the term work from home has been uh, the hot topic of 2020. You know, people are actually working from home and have to adapt to uh, doing a lot of uh, their work uh, remotely, okay, instead of, you know, working in a team. Okay, uh, we have seen a lot of lifestyle changes. Uh, people are actually staying at home more rather than going out half. We have seen a lot of cases whereby people are, you know, people are meeting out less, you know, not by choice, of course, but we have to adapt to it. Okay, diet change. Um, definitely people are going, okay, there are actually very different kind of people, people who actually go very healthy this whole period, you know, trying to take care of their health or because people are actually working from home more, they are actually more of uh, binge eating, you know, snacks and things like that. So yeah, diet definitely is one of the changes that's being brought by now. Okay, uh, business conducting styles. So uh, before this COVID-19, we are actually seeing a lot of com companies that are flying, you know, their personnel over to close deals, to meet up with prospective clients and things like that. But now we are actually seeing more of people meeting up over Zoom okay, to conduct business. We are actually seeing, uh, even in industries like uh, insurance, whereby last time hard copies of uh, signing of contract is actually essential, has been brought to a change, whereby you know, everything has been done e online, e documents, e application, and everything. Okay, and we have seen a lot of government intervention, okay? Companies are being forced to close during uh, the lockdown periods. Uh, even after lockdown, some companies are forced to restrict their working hours, restrict the crowds, their own uh, premises, and uh, a lot of uh, malls are actually having uh, those QR code scanning in Singapore. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on uh, overseas, but definitely uh, there will be a lot of changes being brought about of government intervention. Okay, psychological, uh, psychologically, I would say everybody is depressed. Okay, economy, uh, the work stress, the recession stress, everything. So, um, okay, so talking about psychology, uh, psychology, I would actually like to dive a little bit into this topic itself. Okay, so because I'm actually presenting this topic, I actually have the privilege to speak to um, hiring managers, you know, from government sectors, 
from uh, engineering backgrounds as well as uh, hiring managers from different other industries. Uh, they are actually people in leadership roles, and this is what I found out. Okay, every single one of them are the stress. It doesn't matter if you are the top of the organization or just uh, you know the workers itself. Everyone is actually feeling the stress involved by this COVID nineteen. Okay, and of course we have seen a lot of habitual uh, change. People who are working from home are actually exercising more. Or people who are working from home are actually spending more time with uh, family rather than going out and things like that. So now that we have actually examined all these uh, changes itself, okay, let us look at you know how each and every industries are actually being affected. Okay, and the good news is um, there are actually companies that strive and um, of course um, there are companies that are negatively affected. Okay, so if you are looking at this itself, um, the left this itself are of course uh, companies that are in a way uh, more negatively affected. Okay, the airlines industry for sure, people are flying less people are not able to fly. Okay, tourism definitely have decreased, attraction park, uh, hotels are actually not benefiting from uh, the, the lack of uh, the lack of tourism. Okay, non-essential retails are sometimes are actually forced to close down. And in terms of events, uh, organizers, let's say concerts, you know, people cannot hold concerts, not possible. Okay, uh, in the sports events like soccer, basketball, uh, people can gather in the stadium, okay? In terms of fitness-wise, uh, okay, it's starting to open up, but of course, um, every gym or everything itself, sometimes they have different rules, you know, being regulated like financially just now. Government intervention, they are unable to actually add more people in, or to cram out people in the gym itself, and uh, sometimes even operation hours are being affected. Okay, uh, less people traveling would mean transportation uh, business are actually being negatively affected as well. And um, if you're talking about luxury F&B, uh, it would be not the first choice for people because people are actually more health conscious, sorry, actually more uh, economically conscious, you know, trying to save money, trying not to spend, I would say, luxurious products. Okay. And the good thing is, on the right side of the list, we actually have you know, com industries that are actually being boosted. Okay? We have actually seen more healthcare, uh, healthcare okay? companies, uh, not say companies, sorry, hospitals, uh, even clinics, uh, they are actually seeing more people. Of course, it's, it's not a good thing, okay? but it is essential. Okay? Uh, deliveries. More people, because you know of social distancing, they are actually depending on uh, social on online platforms. Okay, uh, people cannot go out and shop. So when do they shop? They actually shop in commerce. Uh, and people who are you know stuck at home, they don't want to go out. They actually order deliveries and things like that. And these are the companies that are actually benefited from COVID itself. Okay, essential retails like, for example, um, our groceries uh, market, and also. Uh, those daily essential products companies uh, they are actually benefiting as well because these are the things that people will focus more on buying and they actually rank those things up as more important during this period. Um, of, of course, um, on the left, okay, I did mention luxury FMB, but if you are talking about normal day, uh, normal sorry. Normally, F and B itself, they are actually benefiting. I have a friend who is a hawker. Okay, he actually shared with me, and he told me that his business is increasing. Okay, increasing during this period, and it's actually uh, up by say fifty percent. I asked him, you know, how is it possible? And he says that everybody still need to eat, and uh, my my food is not expensive, and I'm in the neighborhood, so I definitely benefited, which I think makes sense. Okay, so in terms of this uh, 
COVID-19 because people are staying at home or they are actually using more social uh, social media and things like that. So IT platforms are definitely think in terms of uh, this cyber security companies are also benefiting. And I actually came across this uh, article on today. It actually says that online dating has increased. I mean, ultimately, people are locked at home, okay? And people are still social. Uh, so we still have social needs. So even if, let's say, we can't meet up with people uh, face to face, you know, we are actually depending on online dating to meet new people. So the thing is, you know, now that we have examined all this industry, what's next? Okay? So you may want to examine your own uh, position. Okay, whether are you on the left side or the right side. So if you're on the left side, you know, whereby you are more negatively affected uh, by this uh, COVID-19, you may want to uh, consider an opportunity on the right side, you know, shift, shifting over, looking for new opportunities and having the, uh, having the flexibility to grow you know, your career during this period because Companies on the right side are actually doing well. And if the companies are doing well, definitely they will need more leadership role. They will definitely need people to support their operations. Okay, so uh, let me move on to the challenges during this period. Okay, getting used to the new norm. Okay, just now I mentioned, you know, I've actually interviewed a lot of uh, hiring managers uh, from different industries. And the one common thing I found out is that even the managers themselves, they are actually getting used to the new norm. Okay, they are, they are also trying to uh, trying to figure out, you know, how they can actually be more efficient, how can they motivate their, their staff, okay, to, to uh, adapt to this uh, work from home uh, uh, work from home situation, as well as, you know, how can they actually improve the whole organization organization with the new set of meetings itself. Okay, and, uh, you will see seeing more competitive environment, which I'll touch on that and I did that, uh, later. Okay, uh, and some people will actually have you know lesser workload depending on you know your kind of industry or you know the work you're doing and some people actually have heavier workloads. Okay, I've actually spoken to of my clients and I realized that you know usually when they are working in the office they work until six and seven they can actually go off but nowadays you know when they're working from home anytime it's their working hour and I've seen uh, you know emails being sent out at 3 a.m you know workloads because uh, people are still adapting in uh, norms itself okay and uh, people who are actually uh, retrench or uh, on follow, they actually have to go on new industry. And uh, the first thing they have to find out is to understand their new industry, how it works, how it can actually benefit uh, in terms of uh, their career growth in the industry itself. So they are actually learning, understanding. And uh, as mentioned, everyone, everyone in the organization are actually facing a higher stress level, okay? Because uh, everything is new, everything is, everything is uh, is to be adapted. So in terms of stress level, definitely there. Okay, and of course, um, people have to go on job search and I'll actually dive into that later. Okay, so um, in this uh, industry, sorry, in this economy itself, it's really important to actually learn new skills and uh, definitely be smart challenge because some of your skills that you are using may not be applicable anymore after COVID-19. Okay, um, maybe because your sector or your company is actually very much affected by it that you know, they can not function anymore, or maybe it's because uh, you know the company itself has actually decreased in activities, so you actually have to pick up new skills in order to uh, to provide positive value to the, com uh, to the company. So yeah, definitely all the challenges that you'll be facing. Okay, so uh, as mentioned, and I think 
environment is one of the hardest, but we have to do it. Okay, so just now I mentioned about a uh, competitive environment. And uh, in, from the research I found, I actually found this article, which I think is very, very, I won't say interesting, but it's definitely uh, concerning. So now that you know, um, we can actually work from home off. Okay, uh, in, in a way, it's also a cost saving to the company. Okay, uh, companies like Facebook have actually predicted that 50% of their workforce will be working remotely by 030. Okay, I, um, after I've actually done all this slide, I've actually seen more companies like Twitter or even Google, they are actually promoting uh, working from home to the true itself. Uh, they have actually powered this initiative. So, we all this working from home initiative being rolled out. Okay, um, it really doesn't matter, you know, the companies, uh, they can actually hire anyone from anywhere in the world, as long as they have a computer, they can work. So, um, they actually, I mean, in the article, they actually say that we need to ensure that, you know, the Singapore workforce is ready to face a job, uh, geography and through the urgent upskilling and reskilling. Okay, so uh, even the government in Singapore is actually asking uh, the people to, uh, you know, to learn new skills as well as to improve on their skills itself because we will not be competing with people from just our region itself. Okay, we are actually competing with, any, uh, with people you know, anywhere in the world as long as they have a laptop and they have the necessary skills to do it. So, uh, moving on, I would actually have um, provide some advice. Okay, so um, from the interviews that I uh, that I've done, uh, I realized that a lot of uh, a lot of companies uh, when they are adapting to this you know new work from home norms and, and things like that, they are actually uh, leveraging uh, um, teamwork. Okay, what do I mean by leverage on teamwork? Uh, for example, okay, um, I have this manager who I'm interviewing. Actually, actually shared with me that he is uh, encouraging his uh, or all his staff to keep the Zoom on. Okay, so if let's say in any case anyone have uh, need any help or have any question, they can just pop by with Zoom, and definitely there will be someone there to actually answer their questions, help out. So in any case, if let's say no one knows the answer, there will be more people on the research to help out, to make sure that they have a smooth transition to work from home. And ultimately, after one or two months, uh, after this whole process, they are actually very, very smooth in terms of their daily operation because everybody plays a part. Okay, so COVID or no COVID itself, um, having initiative is very, very, very important. Uh, bosses and uh, employers like people who are very initiative. So if let's say you are looking for career growth, you know, the, the next uh, evaluation is uh, you want to score high points, this is definitely something that you want to practice. Okay, what, what do I mean by uh, have an initiative? That means, um, just now I did mention, okay, even the managers themselves, they are actually facing stress. So if let's say you have the initiative to help out, to you know, load, uh, you know, offload certain uh, work from your superior, definitely uh, you have been scoring points. Okay, and you need to be flexible. Okay, you cannot think that this is just going to be for the next few months. Once the vaccine is found, you know, things will be back to normal. Okay, the sad thing is, this may be the new normal. Okay. Okay, maybe not a sad thing. Okay, so this is actually um, something very new to the whole world. And a, a lot of companies actually found that working from home actually increased uh, you know, efficiency or effectiveness. And of, of course, like what I mentioned just now, it's a lower cost uh, approach to you know, daily operations. So you need to be flexible. You must accept that you know, this is happening and move along with it. Okay, uh, staying healthy, exercising is something that I can't stress enough. Okay, it's really important because, especially so during this period, because if you are not healthy, okay, if let's say you are constantly tired, drain on energy, 
you know, if you really you want to grow your career with this kind of physics, uh, uh, okay, it's not possible. Okay, so you really need to stay focused. You really want growth and uh, opportunity. I'm a corporate ladder. Okay, continuous learning, like what uh, I mentioned in the article before, reskilling and upskilling is important in order to stay valid during this period. Okay, understanding the KPI is another important thing, which I will actually dive into that later. And of course, um, everything, okay, everything you do starts from mindset. It's actually the most important thing. And the good news is we have our uh, consultant to touch on that topic at another event, and she will dive deep to give you all the, uh, the insight on how to have a positive mindset. I will share with you all later. And um, if let's say you, you feel that you, know, you are stagnant in your current role, um, you cannot climb up the corporate ladder in your own company, it's always good to keep a lookup for opportunity. Okay, which we will also look deep into that later. Okay, so I, I did mention just now, uh, in terms of uh, mindset, so it's really the most important thing. So uh, our company done this, we have actually come up with uh, another webinar, okay, whereby our team leader, Jasmine, will be sharing with you how to have a positive mindset and how to adapt to this COVID-19 threats. Uh, okay, so uh, like what I mentioned, I really cannot stress enough that Staying healthy is really, really important. Okay, what I mean by staying healthy is important is that imagine if let's say you are sick constantly, you are always uh, you know, on low energy level. Okay, you, you and you're working from home. Most most likely, you know, the bed is beside you, you'll be just sleeping there. So ultimately, uh, it's really your uh, benefits that you actually stay healthy, okay, because it gives you a strong immunity. If you are focused at work, of course, uh, if you're healthier, you have a happier mood. And you save your money, you'll be you know, going to the doctor less, so you take less MC, which is good for your work. And uh, you have more energy at work. Okay, so these are the few things that you can start, you know, to lead the, the healthy lifestyle. Okay, you know, diet, start cooking yourself, uh, you know, less MSG, less, uh, less fried food. Okay, you can practice intermittent fasting uh, or keto diet uh, or, or just have a balanced diet. Okay, you drink more water uh, adequately. These are the things that you know you can start in order to improve your health. Okay, uh, exercise. You know, go on YouTube and actually uh, follow those gurus uh, on how to exercise. And because people are coming together, I realized that you know, these are the things that my friends are doing. They are actually exercising via Zoom. Which day people will be leading a workout every time, and ultimately it actually helps to motivate each other to exercise more. Okay, HIIT is another thing that I would recommend because uh, within a very short period of time, it can be fifteen minutes or twenty minutes a day, which I think everyone can spare up. Uh, it actually gives you the most optimum uh, benefits in terms of physical exercise itself, or, or just uh, running the park. Okay, most of my ideas that uh, you know for this presentation I will be doing whilst running because it clears my head. Okay, rest is important. Please have enough uh, sleep. Don't work until 3 a.m. from you know while you're working from home, which I think a lot of people are actually doing that. But yeah, everybody should have enough rest. Okay, so um, why I actually dive deep into this topic KPI itself is because um, from the interviews that I have with the hiring managers, I realized one thing. Okay, in terms of evaluation itself, uh, unlike the previous um, time whereby can actually be seen working in our face, you know, seeing how helpful we are to, to our colleagues. Uh, this can't be happening anymore because everybody is working remotely out from home. Okay, so how we are actually being measured in terms of our performance uh, is through this thing called KPI. Okay, so KPI uh, in short is actually for key performance indexes, whereby this are uh, actually a set of rules or a set of regulations to see you know, how well you are performing to measure against your performance. So, in terms of uh, this things itself, uh, your daily activities actually have more reliance uh, on KPI itself. Okay? I mean, managers are actually more reliance on you know the KPIs that you are hitting. 
or not fitting. I mean, how well you are performing. Okay, so by understanding the, what you are, uh, you know, the KPIs you are given, to actually help to uh, deliver, you know, and also to report. Imagine your KPI itself is uh, maybe from uh, your, your standpoint is to create five sales lead. Okay, so by understanding that, you know, you actually need this five sales lead, you will actually work, schedule your work as well as work in accordance to that. Okay, so you understand that, you know, this is what you need uh, and you can actually achieve that. And when you report, you can actually report what your manager is looking at. You know, I have five sales lead today. You know, so understanding your KPI is really important. It actually helps you to be more task and goal oriented and definitely in a way uh, increase your efficiency and effectiveness uh, of your daily operation itself. Okay, so uh, like what I mentioned, if let's say you, you ask, uh, you feel that you are actually stagnant or you, uh, uh, you actually need to actually move on, always keep a lookout for opportunities. There are always companies hiring. Uh, for the roles that you want to be promoted to and things like that. Okay, so one way is actually to go on job, uh, job portals, you know, job streets, uh, or even LinkedIn uh, job portals and things like that. Okay, uh, reading up the news is uh, another uh, panel that you can actually use. Okay, so uh, this is something interesting. I actually come across uh, while I was on Facebook. Okay. So for those people who doesn't know, uh, Smooth is actually a company that uh, do car sharing and, and sad to say, they actually shut down their business. So their competitor, Tripcast, uh, actually have a, a Facebook post uh, saying that they are a respected competitor. Smooth is actually a respected competitor. And uh, under the bottom of the article itself, they are actually uh, asking people from you know, Smooth uh, like, in CS, marketing, tech, or enforcement, and management level to actually move on to them, to apply with them. So if let's say you are always actively looking up, you can even find opportunities on the competitor's side itself. Okay, and the next thing is, uh, um, it's my expertise, okay? Uh, hi, you can see I'm still speaking to a consultant today. Okay, why not? Because consultants like us, we always, we always have opportunities to our clients, so we do know, you know how to market life. And if let's say you're looking for opportunities uh, to, uh, to move on in order to grow your career, always speak to a, a, a consultant because they know what you are looking for and they can advise accordingly. So these are actually uh, ways that you can actually uh, contact us. Okay, you can contact uh, if you are looking for opportunities, you can send a general. Uh, Right. General mails to uh, contact at talentbase.com or you can email me at eventaren.com or you can just visit our website to find out more because we do have opportunities and uh, roles uh, uh, posted on our website itself. Okay, you can just scan the QR code to uh, visit our website. Okay, so yeah, so if you are looking for a job during this period, um, Another good news, okay, uh, Palanbis, we are actually conducting another uh, event being done by our uh, team lead from Malaysia, Ivan, okay, on the July of 28th uh, at the same time, 10 a.m. Okay, whereby in this uh, webinar itself, we will actually share with you uh, some of the job searching strategies, what you can do to improve your job search and also to improve your chances of getting the job itself. Okay, so uh, finally, I will actually touch on this thing called continuous learning. Okay, as mentioned, reskilling and upskilling is always very important, especially during this period. So um, you should always strive to pick up new skills. And um, with this COVID 19, those recommended skill set would be uh, technological skills. Okay, imagine uh, next time we have more activities coming up in order to uh, you know, facilitate our work from home efficiency and also uh, things that you know, we can actually uh, do most likely will have to be related to uh, technological stuff as well. Okay, so as mentioned, uh, e-commerce is something big that is uh, 
benefiting during this period. So copywriting would definitely be one of the skill set that you want to consider. Okay, so if you are looking at uh, progression uh, leadership, cause uh, something that you may want to consider in order to leadership and uh, better. Okay, so e-commerce skill set, uh, as mentioned just now, and uh, let's see. Okay, I have actually a friend who actually turned, uh, changed her career from a normal retail staff to a nursing personnel because she actually loved it. And uh, up to today, uh, as it has been five years already, uh, she's still enjoying her time as a nurse. Okay, so um, in order to improve yourself, there are actually a, a few channels that you can I mean, I, I can recommend. Okay, Udemy, Mind Valley, if I have they actually have an e-learning uh, portals. Uh, you can just Google. Okay, that, that's really a lot, a lot, a lot more uh, alternative. Okay, so uh, to conclude, okay, in order for you to actually benefit from whatever that is happening today, okay, uh, you really have to be very flexible in terms of mindset, in terms of uh, what you are doing. Don't, don't be restricted to what is going on last time because that's the old norm and that is not happening. That may not be happening. Okay, the new norm is happening and you really have to take action today, you know, be it exercise, be it uh, you know, learning a new course, learning a new skill set. As long as you take action today, definitely you are actually moving and inching closer to your career growth itself. Please take action. The worst action to take is inaction. Okay, so if you don't do anything, your career will definitely be stagnant. Okay, and with that, uh, I would like to ask, you know, is there any questions? Okay, thank you so much, Evan, for your uh, insightful uh, uh, topic, your insightful uh, sharing. So if you have any questions, please feel free. Either you can leave it in the chat or you can uh, yeah, PM us. So just feel free to ask any questions. So while you guys are writing down your questions, let me just um, highlight the upcoming webinars, which Evan shared earlier. So yes, we'll be having... Um, Ivan Lu sharing on job searching strategies with us on the 28th of July, also Tuesday morning uh, at 10 a.m. As well as Jasmine Chong, who will be sharing on the positive mindset, you know, how to develop a positive mindset in COVID um, on the 11th of August at 10 a.m. as well. Yep. So any questions? If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, Evan, maybe you would like to share Okay, we have a question here. Okay. Uh, okay, there's one question which would be, what advice would you give to employees to impress uh, for their job during this period? You're talking about the current job, right? Low motive? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, good question. So, in a way itself, uh, during this period, uh, like what I mentioned, even your superiors, they are actually feeling the stress, okay? So not just yourself, not just you know, your teammates, everyone is feeling it. So, um, as mentioned during uh, my presentation, having initiative is very important, more so during this period. You know, having initiative to help out your colleagues and to help out uh, your superior whenever, okay? Don't wait for them to actually you know, uh, ask you for help. Instead, you know, try to uh, understand you know, what you can help and do. And of course, um, outskilling yourself is important because um, everybody is going through this phase whereby they, they are learning how to use technologies and things like that. If let's say you are more skillful than them, uh, more uh, adaptable than them to all these uh, IT skill things, uh, right, this IT technology stuff, it will actually help in terms of um, your workflow and your processes. I mean, you'll be faster than other people. So if let's say you are faster, you are helpful, you are initiative, definitely um, you will be more impressive among the peers itself. You will shine. Hey, thank you so much. Okay, so there's also another question uh, from Ben, who's asking, what are the advantages of having recruitment agencies to help us find jobs compared to directly applying to companies? 
Because okay. during your, yeah, you were sharing, you know, uh, quite a lot of, uh, I mean, obviously you'll be sharing about talent base. So maybe you can share about, yeah, why go through a recruitment agent instead of just applying directly? Okay, so the, the thing is that um, being, if let's say um, you are applying through a recruiter, you are actually being represented by a company that has the motivation to present your CVs over to the company. Okay, as mentioned, I have actually clients, um, and when I mentioned clients, uh, those uh, personnel that I'm actually working with are HR personnel. They are actually more busy with uh, their work, okay? And they still have their recruitment portfolio with them. So if let's say they are being overwhelmed by work, they are being uh, uh, tied down with a lot of uh, other procedures that can be uh, due to government intervention, they have more processes to do, things like that. Uh, they, they are not able to, they, they want to, but they are not able to actually see all those um, CVs that are actually applying in to them. So if let's say you are applying through an agency, okay, it's, it actually helps because we are representing uh, your profiles and we can have direct uh, contact with uh, the HR. We can actually promote your uh, CV up so that your CV is actually more visible than those that are actually applying remotely to the company because it could be just another CV in email whereby uh, they may not have the time to go through. Okay. Okay, we have another question from Jonathan here. So, hi Evan, what are your thoughts on being flexible in terms of taking on an entirely new job scope as we deal with change and potentially a reduced salary? Um, I would say that, um, okay, this, this is a good question. Uh, during this, uh, when I was actually preparing this presentation itself, I actually spoke to one of uh, my candidates, okay, someone who actually applied in, uh, for a job that he has no experience in. Uh, I have the privilege to actually speak to him and understanding his mindset. Okay, uh, I cannot share too much because uh, due to PDBA, but uh, what happened is that he's actually applying a role that is totally out of his comfort zone, out of his industry, whereby he has been working there for 10 years. Okay, so this is what he shared with me. Okay. Uh, if let's say he were to you know, stick on to what he has done for the past 10 years, okay, uh, he cannot find a it's not possible, okay, because he's in an industry that is totally, totally uh, affected. Okay, so uh, to the extent that he can't work anymore. Okay, so bringing on uh, what he actually learned from his previous job, okay, uh, there are always those soft skill set that is uh, that you can actually bring along, okay. Small skill set like you know customer service skill, small skill set like uh, soft skill set like uh, your communications uh, skills itself. Okay, this is what you can actually bring along to a new industry, a, a new role, and the most important thing is you have to by uh, telling himself that um, what he was working, start accepting, okay, what he was doing previously cannot work anymore, and he had to move on. So bring that, once he accepted the fact, he actually has an easier time, uh, uh, he's actually, in a way, he has mindset, is actually more flexible to actually accept a new role, and of course, he also understands that because he is totally fresh to this uh, industry, even though he can actually bring on his soft skill set, uh, he has to take, uh, in a way, a pay cut because he's a more competitive uh, market. So uh, he was also telling me this line. He believed that, if, let's say, he can add values and he can uh, you know, rise in terms of uh, rank and wealth, uh, rise in terms of rank in the company, one day he will actually join more than what he was doing previously. So he did not mind starting with most airy, but in a way he has the right mentality and he has the right uh, frame of mind to actually move on to the industry itself. Okay, so Lomotive is also asking um, in response to this question. So he's asking, how would you represent such a candidate and propose to your client? Okay, so what a uh, consultant uh, we do is that we uh, everybody will have their own strength and weaknesses okay so um what we will do is we will try to understand you know what's your strength 
and uh, of course understand what you're doing. And we will look at you know what roles that we are actually presenting for. Okay, if let's say uh, in, in a way we find that your strength itself is really uh, important, what this role is looking for, we will we will actually uh, promote uh, your CV over to them to our client in a way that um, you know this person uh, the strength is actually uh, what you are looking for, and you should take a look at the CV. You should you know, uh, have this uh, interview with this person in order to uh, to find out more. Okay, and Katie also has a question regarding the recent pledge by the government to pledge a hundred thousand jobs, uh, like you know, for government to help like using E two Y and WSG. Correct. I'm sorry, the question. So he's uh, she's asking for your thoughts on it, like how oh, this okay. could you know yeah. Okay, um, I would say that it's always good that you know companies are actually. Oh, sorry. Uh, employees or even job seekers are actually uh, having this uh, opportunities from the government. Like uh, it is actually a very good organization. They actually uh, give you uh, opportunities to reskill yourself and uh, give you uh, opportunities to learn new skill set. Everybody should check out uh, it Okay, and uh, my thoughts are, uh, on it is that it's a good thing. Okay, whatever the government is supporting, they will deliver. And if let's say more. Uh, opportunities or more jobs that are actually being created through uh, this channel itself. Uh, everyone should you know look into that and see how they can benefit and leverage on it. Mm, yes, indeed, our government is really trying to do a lot, like with all the four budgets that they've uh, released this year, in order to help us deal with the impact of COVID. Um, so I believe they are like, for example, I know. IMDA is also um, employing like a thousand digital offices to help people cross the digital divide. Um, yeah. yeah, I also know like, you know, recently they have all the swabbers, you know, they're employing all the temporary swabbers as well for 3,005 to 3,008 a month. Um, yeah, which is a pretty decent uh, wage as well. Yeah. Any other questions that anybody would like to ask? If not, yeah. If not, meanwhile, let me just remind you guys about the upcoming sessions. So we'll have Ivan Lu on the 28th of July, 10 a.m. as well, to share with us on job searching strategies during this COVID times, as well as Jasmine Chong on 11th of August, 10 a.m., who will share with us how to develop a positive mindset uh, in COVID times. Yeah. So, okay, if, any, if that's it, then, you know, feel free to, yeah, drop, uh, email to Evan or just check out the Talentviz website if you want to get in touch with our recruitment consultants to help you with your job search and your career development during these times. Okay, so if that's it, okay, then yes, thank you so much. Thank you everyone for spending your morning with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so with that, we hope to see you at our next round on the 28th of July. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for watching the webinar. We have come to the end of the session. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email TalentViz or Evan at the email addresses stated in the screen. Have a nice day. Goodbye.